good morning, good morning. This is Lori from the Pink Girly Channel. Oh, I've had a busy morning already. This is going to be a live stream, hopefully with live awake people. I'm just barely awake. And um, I decided today to do a viewer's choice because I'll explain in a little while. I'm kind of working uh, behind the eight ball, if you will. And uh, I just got finished really on a, a live, and not really an infomercial kind of a thing. It was interactive with an artist who lives in the UK. I signed up for one of her um, workshops, but today she offered a free interaction with her to kind of evaluate your art journey to see where you started where you were so i'll explain a little more of, of that as some folks come in good morning gail nice to see you hope you're doing well so i just cleaned up my space and i had a few ideas in mind i quick grabbed a half of a sandwich and some water good morning susan nice to see you So I see there's some few people coming in. So I thought I'd give a choice of some things that I could readily uh, pull together and work on. I have a very dear friend. Her name is Jean. Sometimes she comes in. Um, well, she's probably in church right now. She lives in Colorado. And she loves to make cards. So um, I was thinking card making could be one choice for today. This card is a little bit of a twist, which you might be noticing right here. <clears throat> and I can always color, um, work on a color page, or I can work on some, um, like a junk journal page and just embellish some pages and just chat as we go. So those of you that are coming in or that are already here, if you can think about that, if you might have a preference, if you can let me know. And... Um, I can just we can decide which direction we're going to head in. Good morning, Pam. Pam, you're up early too. Oh my goodness, Pam and I were part of the gang that stayed up till oh, I finally cut out. I think around oh my goodness four four thirty this morning from Keisha's sale. I tried to stay I tried to stay awake for the giveaways, but. I knew I had to be up at nine o'clock for this. Um, I don't know what you would want to call it for this freebie that this artist offered this morning from the UK. So I, uh, I got about maybe four or five hours of sleep. So I think there's a nap in my future. Three year time. Okay. What time? Um, standard are you on for me it was like i think about four o'clock 4 30 eastern so you're nine now i'm 11 so two hours difference Whew, yeah so you you went to bed a little later than i my goodness and i didn't feel tired you know i had to i really had to make myself close my computer and um mountain time okay the times are a little confusing for me but a lot of things are confusing for me <laughs> so there's this gal my sister nancy found this gal online her name is bonnie with a y snowden s-n-o-w-d-o-n she's a color pencil artist she is in the uk uh, I don't know if she lives in North Yorkshire or if she just has a studio there. I'm semi-bummed about that because the end of last year, I was in North Yorkshire for a week and uh, didn't know Bonnie at that time. I, I hadn't discovered her. So I'm kind of bummed that I could have gone to her studio or maybe taken a taken a one-on-one -on -one class, you know. You know Bonnie too, Gail? Gail, you just... 
you continually amaze me. Last giveaway, everyone got a prize. Ten people left. All right. That's the way we like to roll. And so uh, I'm on the wait list for Bonnie's um, Academy, I think. But then the people today in chat were talking about a Patreon. So I, I still have to figure all that out. But I did sign up for... You watch too much YouTube. <laughs> uh, and um, it was really funny because she offered in October, she's offering this workshop, color pencil workshop. And... Um, my husband, I asked if I could take the workshop and my husband said, what, what else could you possibly learn about color pencil? You know, you, you do really good stuff right now. And I said, let me just show you. He, he's like, well, if you think it's important, you know, I just, I just don't understand what more you could possibly learn with colored pencil and I said well I think it's better if I just show you now let me see if I can pull it up um what I what I'm talking about and what I'm supposed to be able to learn in this workshop it's probably not going to come up anyway it's how to, to do a human eye in color pencil and this color eye is just, hey, Peggy, good morning. It's just amazing. So I showed him the picture and he said, oh, yeah, you can sign up for that. <laughs> sign up for that. So that's not until October. But then I signed up for the newsletters on all this other jazz, right? So then I got um, a notice that she was having this exercise this morning. Of course, it's two o'clock in the afternoon for her. Um to do um, this jelly baby tree. It's a tree with all these little babies on it. And you're supposed to see where you are on the tree now and where you hope to be. So then she had where you could just chat uh, like we do, or you could, uh, it was a, um, a Zoom meeting where you could actually be on camera and interact with her on person. So, of course, I was on the fence. So I, I, I finally raised my hand and I got in the queue. And do you know she stopped taking people in order, the person right in front of me? Okay. From 9 o'clock Eastern to 10.30 Eastern, I sat and waited to get online. Good morning, Kathy. And she stopped taking them in line right in front of me. Good morning, Andrea. Nice to see you. Oh, nice to see everyone this morning. So I have to say I'm a little bummed about that. And as my dad would say, lucky Eddie strikes again. So, <clears throat> but it was interesting listening to all the different testimonies. And apparently I can go back and, and rewatch the video or watch, watch the rest of it but they're talking about midnight to night which i'm assuming is uk time um the academy is is open so i don't understand about all that but she does amazing work and i i would like to i would like to progress a little bit i've got better is my barbara here there she is good morning barbara and um, <clears throat> so that's what I was doing till about 1030. And then, of course, I left my desk messy from yesterday working on some stuff. So I quick cleaned up my desk. And so I thought I would go with viewer's choice. So if anyone has a preference, if you could just put it in uh, the chat for me. And if you use caps, that will be great. We'll, I'll kind of get an idea. Right now, there looks like there's about 12 of us. Uh, so you're voting. Would you rather uh, I work on a card project, a color page project, or work on uh, maybe a little junk journal pages and embellish some pages? So I'll see if anybody is, is uh, ready to chime in on that.
So I put in the um, little information bar or the title. Anything other than coloring page. Okay, Gail. Barbara's preference is pizza and chocolate ice cream. Oh, yes, please. This, these cards that I made, I made quite a while ago. I haven't done one in a while, but they're cards that hold, as you can see, a bookmark. Uh, Kathy's just having coffee and whatever is good. And, um, you know, sometimes you might like to give a little card or send a little card. Uh, you don't necessarily need to give a gift, but maybe you want a little something extra. So um, I did. I just decided one time to do. Oh, Pam's got the pizza, but no chocolate. I wish I had the chocolate. Peggy's always busy. She's doing laundry. God bless her. So these are just uh, cards I put together. And uh, let me take this one out. I, you know, I haven't done this in a while. So I used my ink oxides when I first got them. To um, do a bit of background work on a plain piece of cardstock. And then I cut out a little um, shape for a bookmark. And they made a little spot for that to go. And, you know, I just leave them blank inside, really. But if you're, oops, sorry, it's that white's going to kill us. If you're um, wanting to make one for someone in particular, of course, you could tailor it color-wise and everything else to what, you know, to what you might need. So, of course, this little gal is a stamp. She, pro she probably looks familiar to those of you that have been around the uh, crafting world for a while. She's a Santura, Santoro, I think you say it. Yeah, it's right there on the bottom. Stamp. This one, I think, was a an, another stamp that I just colored in. This one, I believe, also was a stamp. Can you see... I have them in the plastic bag. Can you see them okay? And on here I did a stamp wishing you the best day ever. And, uh, now, my one sister would probably say, oh, is Judy here? Hi, Judy. Um, not everybody, you know, most people don't read books anymore. But I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's true. Um, Some people do still read, and some people certainly read their Bibles and can use a bookmark. And even if they don't use it, they might just like to have it and put it in a book and know that it was from you. Now, I have another one here that I had set aside because I was planning to do, here he is, this video or this a live stream like this. And this fella, I just did uh, some coloring and, of course, some stamping. And uh, I just like this. I showed these birds the other, I think the last time I streamed. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Oh, man, you girls are killing me. Mint chocolate Klondike bars and a quart of strawberry. Oh, goodness me. <sighs> All right. So I guess the easiest thing, of course, I have to pull out a bunch of stuff, but that's not that's not a problem. You girls would just have to deal with me. Hey, Steffi, you'll have to deal with me pulling out a bunch of stuff and certainly using a stamp is the easiest way to go. But does anybody uh, make cards anymore? The other thing, uh, okay, so Gail said no color page, so I'm good with that. 
The other thing is that I was thinking, because I have this partially done. And maybe I could just add to it, but I'm starting to get into making uh, little journal books. Oh, you have the fat boy that Zena gets. Nice. Gail, you make reading cards? Okay. I know, right? I got paint over here, but then I got the, I scratched that one. But really, if I don't point it out, you might miss it. So this is a soft-sided um, little journal that I put together using the pattern tissue paper. And then I put some other paper underneath, stitched it together, put in my pages. And then I had this um, graphic 45 paper pad that I liked. So I embellished these pages. I think I might feel like doing this or something like this because I have another one here started. It's a little bit different. Uh, this is more plain. And I don't know if you can see underneath. I've got a bit of pink lace. And this one I put ribbons to tie. I don't know why I put them up so high, but there you have it. I know I love graphic 45 so very much. And I'm wondering what paper selection that is. This might be, um, does anybody recognize this paper? This paper might be Stamperia. That's a pocket. I wonder if I could figure that, you know, I think I might be able to figure that out. I just will have to go grab a couple boxes of paper. That's very nice of you, Barbara. Okay, so let's go with the little journal book. So I'm going to put these cards aside. And I'm going to turn on my glue gun. I have my measurements here. Now, what I have to dis what I have to um, figure out is where I might have this paper pad or something that goes with that paper pad. So. If you would just talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Look, there's a little card that fell out. Because I have plenty of buttons and stuff pretty close at hand. This looks like some paper that would work. Or that I started to use. You know, I think this stuff here might be, this might be what I was using, and it might be enough, being the book is so little, it might be enough to get me by. Okay, well, the way I have my camera set today, it's really kind of in my line of vision. So if you, if you have a question for me or you need to say something to me, if you could put it in caps, that would be very helpful for me and where I have and how I have my camera set up. All right. So I'm not remembering. I'm more familiar with graphic 45 paper than I am any of the others. So, oh, yeah, I tape that in. And a piece of my hair. Bonus. So I don't know this. Oh my gosh, Lori, 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 hugs, hugs, hugs. Hi, it's very nice to see you. Paper Stamperia the Muse. Thank you, my darling. Do you believe I taped in a piece of my hair? My old eyes didn't see it. DNA, yeah. 
my goodness. See, now that'll just drive me until I can see it well enough to grab it with, okay, it's big enough I pluck my chin hairs. Now I'm plucking hairs out of a journal. There's something wrong with that picture, girls. Something wrong with the picture. But that will drive me. Okay, I'm not getting it. I'm gonna to have to let it go. I think that's I think that's in a little crooked. Maybe I just stamped a crooked. Good way to look at it, Flo. All right, so here's some bits and pieces, and I'm just gonna pick out what I think is gonna match with what I already have started in the book because I don't remember having the muse. But let's just go with it and see. See, I have this little bundle of images that I and papers that I put together. I was working on stuff. Stuff. I think that's Timmy's stuff. And I think some of this I can incorporate because the coloring matches. So <clears throat> If you have, <clears throat> oh, this is something I was working and trying to do. Gail Agnes Deli was doing, and I gave up the ghost. So I don't think they'll work. Thank you, Flo. So let me just see if I've got anything in here that will get me started. It's kind of dark, but it might work. Let's put that aside. I know this is Chabella. Chabella. No, yesterday wasn't about Timmy's stuff. She's doing a separate um, sale, and she'll let us know when she's uh, going to do the Timmy stuff. She's uh, just about ready to do that. She's pulling inventory and getting her thoughts wrapped around that. Last uh, night and Friday was the market sale, um, and those of us who are vendors with her were selling items. And yesterday, I uh, guess what, Pam? She she uh, finally shut it down around, um, I'm going to say, 5 or 6 Eastern. So if you are interested in the Tim Holtz sale stuff, uh, you may want to, if you haven't already, uh, sub to her channel. Oh, looky, looky. This must be it. Look, Laura, this must be it. Oh, good. Little cards. Yes, yes. Okay. And I think I can easily maybe work in some of this other stuff. So this will give me a good start. That's Timmy's stuff. Timmy's stuff. I think that's graphic. Okay, so I've got some stuff to pull from. So if you have bits and bobs or pieces of other paper, if you're like me, you can't throw those out. They're just all precious, especially for me, Graphic 45 stuff. It has a lady and typewriter, too. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Lauren. Um, they're all precious little bits, you know? And, uh, well, my husband helps me in... We, you know, try to clean up or go through stuff. He just doesn't understand why I keep such little snips of paper. But you see, eventually I use it. At some point, I use it. All right, so now for me, I have to kind of get in the groove. Oh, that'll be fun. How long of a journey is that for you, Lori? Is uh, Spokane pretty close or not so much? Look, I still have the DNA. I 
think I got it. It's just so slippery. All right. So I need a lot more to embellish here. And I'll need something on the inside cover. So let's just go through again. See, there's a little stapler I have to um, cover. I love the little torn pages. If uh, you like this little kind of journal, this gal, her name is um, Susie, S-U-Z-Y, Shabby Soul. And she is um, one of Tim Holtz's, uh, it takes six and a half to seven hours. Oh my goodness. So you probably don't see her very often. So how fun. And um, even though you may not have all the Tim Holtz stuff, which of course, if you watch her and you like Tim Holtz, you know, you will, you will be envious and want all that stuff. You can um, adapt the ideas, you know, with what you have in your stash. So she makes little pockets and she makes little flip outs. And I think here I was trying to figure out when I first put this together, how I might want to glue this section down to make pockets. Three times this year. Oh, that's wonderful. See, a lot of this paper, it's just so swell on both sides, you know? So swell. There's Judy Double E. Good morning, good morning. So for me, I don't know how it is for the rest of you, but for me, I have to kind of get back into my groove. My groove. And um, start to feel the book and what I want to do. So... I want to put some paper on the inside cover because I, I want to cover my, you know, what this is here. A ribbon finally came to me. Ribbon, ribbon. And I'm going to put this blue and musical stuff up in front of me here. That's a cute little card. That's a music. Now I'm just trying to decide whether I want the same on each cover, the front and the back. Hey, Ange. What did you think about the job? Honey, they were beautiful. You did a great job. I missed uh, the flip through. I just saw her showing them clothes, but they looked fabaroony. Fabaroony. All right, so I'm thinking if I had something partially here and then I could make this a pocket. But I'm wondering if I want some kind of. Um, somewhere I have a roll of the Timmy tissue paper. That has the butterflies and the script and everything on it. Um, but I don't know where I put that. So I'm going to pull out. I mean, it's like a big. I always had it in one spot, and of course I moved it because I thought, you know, the new spot would be so much better. Um, Timmy stuff. I have no idea. It, it's like a, a big roll like of wax paper. You know, I mean, heaven knows where I put it. I mean, why I would say to myself, why on earth 
Would I move it out of such a grand spot? But alas, I did. And in revamping my workspace, I haven't come across it. So this is going to take me just a moment. Now I've got a, a glass of water sitting here, turning into condensation. Is Barbara going on your trip? Or is that who you're meeting? Oh, you're taking Judy. Oh, how lovely. I was supposed to meet Barbara at the airport when I went on my trip, and I just I couldn't find her. She said she was there. Lies, oh, lies. Okay. So I think I'm going to put this at the top and then I'm going to flip it and put this on the bottom for this. Although I do like, oh, lovely. Look at that. See, and the other thing my hubby says, why does it take you so long to do some stuff? Well, see, there are choices to be made, right? Choices, choices, choices. I really, really like that. And I really like this. So, and sometimes just, hey, Joyce, good morning. Oh, thank you. These are my little press on nails. All right. So, I think that might be extra, extra stuff. Extra, extra. Read all. There's more music. Read all about it. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -dee -dee. Do, 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 Oh, see, they were smart. They did plain on the back. Okay, let's see. I'm not liking that combo as much. Sometimes you just have to jump in. Do not, and then just go for it. So I need to, I need a little bit of ink a dink ink. A dink a dink. I might have to re ink. A dink a do. Do 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 do. So I hope everyone is well. It's a beautiful day here in New Jersey, albeit quite warm. And I think I want to get out some of my. There is a quote. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I missed it. My, my camera really is right in eyeball range. Let me go back. Gail. Is it a ways back? I see Ange. Yes, about the journals. Hmm. Gosh, was it way back? Did I miss it that far back? If you knew, thank you, Barbara. If you knew Susie like I knew Susie, oh, 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 what a gal. I don't see. Gail's question. I'm not finding it. Oh, you were wearing your... Ah. 
at the airport. Okay, gotcha. I'm sorry, Gail. I missed it. I don't see it. Could you possibly ask again? Gail says she'll be right back. I'll have to ask her. Oh, she asked about the brand of press on nails. All right, when she comes. They're called Red Aspen. And if you're interested and would like to work through my sister and myself, let me know. Red R-E-D Aspen. And they, they offer several different uh, products. I just use the nails. Okay, I'm going to get some score tape. That might be nice for some of this stuff. Now, I'm really not good at measuring. I usually just eyeball stuff. All right. I'm telling you, I purchased, I don't know how many boxes. Of course, they have sales, too, where you can pick some up very reasonably. But they're all very reasonably priced. Okay, this is a rabbit trail. My husband said, you spent what on those nails? But what I spent was about $60. You get at least two manicures out of one box. I mean, I can go get a box and show you if you want. And $60 is what I pay for one trip to my salon. And I can switch out the colors when I want. I can't get this at my salon. Well, I guess I could, but... I would pay a lot of money for that. They run anywhere between $10 a set, depending on design, to maybe $15. And you get everything you need in the kit. And you can put them on with a lot of glue or a little glue, whatever suits you need. And you have a lot of variety. You see. And like I said, you can really get, so that's just about three inches, uh, more than one manicure out of a box. So that's what I'm doing right now. And so, so far I've been very, very pleased. All right. And you can cut them, you can shape them. All right, so I'm going to go just a hair under three inches. Now, my ribbons are kind of getting in the way, but see, I wanted them in because I want to put down. All right, so now, see, that's just a little too short. So I'll use that for something else. See, I'm better off if I just... Like, I just bend my paper where I want to cut it. Isn't that terrible? Uh, Tim Holtz won't be asking me to be part of his team. I'll tell you that. Okay, little Missy. We don't want you part of a team. All right, so I can do that. And then I want, I think... Because I want it to work nicely with this page, but do I want it to be the same as that page? This is what I don't know. This is kind of the same, but it has drips. Oh, look at that writing. That would even be better. Look at there, girl. See, I flipped it. She flipped it. Did you flip it? I flipped it. Oh, I keep thinking that if you knew. Susie, see, I did it again. I might just have to live with that. I know. I know what I shall do. I shall put lace. Now, I want to make sure that I cover my ribbon. Because if I'm going to make a pocket and slide, I don't want anything to get hung up on the ribbon. So if you do something like that, you want to be mindful, especially if you are you might be new to um, journaling and whatnot. Now, I don't need to 
to have go all the way down. But you want to go down far enough where you're not going to have a problem, you see. You don't want to have a problem. All right, so I'm going to put that there. And this is the same but different. I'm going to hug that over into the center. And then I can see, I can lace it down the side here, which will be just lovely. So I've got to do a little trimmy trim here. I want my stitches to show. Because I love the stitching. All right, so it's going to look like that. Is my camera a, a decent angle where you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm not too, like, in your face? Just let me know, please. I think I'm going to cut my little, a little divot, a little divot, divot. Of course, I, um, have all my punches in my bottom drawer. This will work. This will work. This will work. I just wish I could remember everything I have to use. Thank you, Pam. Perfect viewing. Okay, great. All right, so I'm just using my round punch. If you don't have a round punch, you could get a round shape and trace and trim. No worries, right? Use what you have. I'm an anchor. I'm an anchor. How's that song go? Um, uh, uh, do, do, do. What song is it, Barbara? I'm a girl watcher. I'm a girl watcher. I'm a girl watcher. Watching girls go by. My, my, my. I'm an inker. I'm a re -inker. Underneath. Flip. I just lost. Is that, is that, an, is that annoying? Let me do it a little more. And yesterday, Barbara stopped in at the at the uh, market. It was lovely to see you. And she said hello. And then she said something like Lori, Lori, Bobori. Okay, thank you, Barbara. And then and then Keisha, Keisha Marie didn't know what an earworm were, so we had to get her straight on that. Now they say, do not use um, tape when you're making a pocket because your whatever you put in the pocket could stick. So I'm making a little mark here and a little mark there, a little mark here, a little mark there, because I want to know where to put my glue. I'm not going to put it across. Oh my gosh, I can't even see where I made the mark. Let's do it. Let's do it this this way. I don't want glue beyond that point. I'm just going to glue here and here because then I'm going to put oh and I'll glue on my line or right above my line oh you'll have to let us know how you like it Pam when they had their clearance sale oh that's Marty oh I love I love I, I just love his stuff okay 
I love him. I love his little face. I love how his brain works. I love his products. And I've said this before. I mean, sometimes him and Mario come to um, New Jersey because that's where Ranger Inc. is. Not that I'm close by. But if I were, look, I've got myself confused. And I happen to see him somewhere. I would scream like a girl. Well, I am a girl, but I mean a little girl. I would scream like a little girl. Just saying. Okay, so now do you understand what I'm doing here? I used my glue to make my pocket. So when I put stuff in, the glue is going to dry dry. Okay? If I put the dry tape, you know, this here, the chances are if I'm going to put something in, it's going to get stuck on that tape. So I'm going to use that where I'm not slipping anything behind it. Right like that there. So now that I've got my white glue on, I'm going to be very good and recap my bottle. So I don't have issues there. Lori, Lori knows Timmy. She knows Timmy. She is one of his personal friends. I know, Lori. You told me this before, and I believe you. What does she say? She likes Timmy, too. If you see him, Lori, will you tell Mario to have his eyebrows waxed? <laughs> no, no, I can't promise that. But if they invite me to lunch, I'll try to work it into the conversation. Okay, I'm just saying. Who did I just see pop in? Somebody new. I thought I saw somebody new pop in that I missed. Joni. Hello, Joni. Joni was up late too with us. Girls. All right, you probably don't need this much tape, but I'm just putting it down. Because I'll tell you what, girls, here's, this, here's the deal. I'm trying to ratch up my creativity and my productivity and get some things loaded into my Etsy shop. And I'm hoping these little books are going to be one of the items that I put in. So I'll just see. See, now I missed that spot there. That's not good. Not good at all. So I'm going to put a little glue there. I could use another piece of tape, but don't ask me why. It's just how my brain works sometimes. Angie took naps. You know what, Angie? Sometimes I feel like taking naps, but I'm telling you, I was wide awake. I had to make myself have a lie down, as they say. So this morning, as I said to those of you that were here earlier, and welcome, welcome to everybody coming in. I did this Bonnie Snowden free um, event this morning where she was asking us about our art journeys and this little jelly baby tree and where you see yourself and where you'd like to be. And, there's, and people were sharing, which was wonderful. And uh, I'm a crier, uh, and uh, I don't have to know you to cry along with you. I could meet you on the street, and you could start crying, and I would cry right along with you. And my mother's like that, and my sisters are like that. My daughter, however, is not, which is wonderful. And... <clears throat> So this dear lady comes on talking about her art and she just loves her family so much and she's doing doing stuff for her family all the time and she just doesn't take time for herself and she puts herself last and she starts to cry. Oh my gosh, I'm like bawling along with her, okay? Total stranger. Oh, she was so precious. 
and people in chat were just so sweet. Okay, so I think I'm going to add that to kind of cover up my ribbon. It's going to cover up where I mismeasured just when you're writing something. I could draw, I can, I can cry at, uh, now see, this is a little springy, so maybe I don't want that. I could cry in a heartbeat, less than a heartbeat. Bam, tears. And you know, it's, it can be a little, I'm going to tell you, it can be a little embarrassing. Embarrassing, embarrassing. Oh, I don't know, ladies. I'm going to think about that. I think I have other lace that I'd rather put there, but I'm not going to. Yes, I can cry at commercials, especially those commercials for those kids, those sick kids in those hospitals. I mean, I'm like, oh, my gosh, Lord. Oh, you heal some of those children. I mean, I could just. Uh... So she, you know, this Bonnie Snow didn't really you know, encouraged her. Oh, she was just such a cutie. Anyway, so I had a morning cry already. Got that out of the way. Let's put my pencil over here. All right, so I don't necessarily... Hey, Brenda, nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. I know, movies can be tough. I know the doll. Yes, Lori. Me too. It's like I want to get that puppy. My husband's such a realist. That dog's already gone. Okay, that's really not the point, Ronnie. Okay, so I might skip around here, girls. I'm just not sure. Um, I know I have my lace box behind me, but I'm pretty sure I have something I'd much rather have down this side than just these little bits that I have here. Now I want to put something else here. Of course I'm going to need some cards and whatnot. And I'm going to want to decorate this somehow. And of course I want to decorate here. But just let's see. Make sure I can turn my page. Okay now here see I've got a I put this on with a staple. My tiny attacher. So I want to cover that up. So let me just how can I be ingenious to cover that up? Maybe I can cover it up with that. Okay, it's it's evident I need to get out my lace. Because I want to put something here that looks cute, but not, not necessarily has to be functioning. If I put something here for a belly band or a pocket, whatever the person slides in, it's going to get hung up on there, right? So... Most of you girls here probably know all this jazz, but maybe somebody watching on the replay might want to be getting started uh, in doing this kind of journaling or building a journal, and they may not know, or they may not think, they may not know enough to think ahead of time, you know, and um, then they have a problem. Look, I have the stuff that I've purchased I haven't even opened it. I haven't had the time to open it and see what the heck I have. So let's see what's in these packages. And I said I had my lace bucket right behind me, but guess what? Bum, 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 bum. I've moved it again. She's on the move and in the groove. And she finds herself to be annoying. Ba, 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 ba. I know if I give him this one drawer, I'm probably going to have a cat on the edge. Out of the edge. Well, I've got a lot of cool stuff, but I think a lot of it's too big for that little book. So I'm just kind of looking for some smaller stuff. I need some smaller bits. Oh, I got them up in there. This might be 
too big. I'm not too sure how well um, some of this lace, you know, cuts. Maybe some of this stuff will cut okay. And of course, this journal's little. So I also want to be thinking about uh, not taking up a lot of um, real estate. You know, like this is pretty and it's that um, like crocheted stuff. See, it takes up a whole page. You can't do anything with it. So I want something small. Something smaller. This is all pink stuff, which really would work well. See, that's kind of large. Does anybody like that? I love the noise of these bags. Keisha doesn't. So if I'm annoying you with that crunchy, crunchy feeling, I apologize. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, girls. Look how cute that is, huh? And because my strings are white, my strings, my ribbons are white to tie it. I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to snip it. I think what I'm going to do is leave it white. So that I have some uh, muted colors, and then um, the white, the brightness of the white. And I tend to be anal about this matchy matchy stuff. Now I find, I know, right, Peggy? It came in this kit I purchased at the at the uh it's only a little piece of it at the market i'm going to see if i can get a little bead of my fabric tack down let's see if i let me see if i can do it So Lori posted in, a, I missed the commercial things. Little pebble spell. All right, come on now. Come on now. Oh, it's starting to come out. Now the thing about Fabri tack is it sticks down pretty quickly if you're not familiar with it. And it doesn't try like stiff stiff. It still allows your fabric to have a little bit of movement. So I'm just gonna scoot that up. I have to look at it this way and see if I have it straight. I think it's fairly straight. See, that's already stuck down there pretty good. There's no wiggle, no wiggly diggly. Now, see, Susie, uh, the shabby soul, she tears these pages like this, but I, I haven't watched her in a while, and I forget what the heck she tears the pages and how she... Is Jacqueline here? Hi, Jacqueline. Thank you for my... For my um, punch yesterday. I appreciate that so very much. That was very sweet of you. And Riri, she might be lurking. Riri, thank you too. She gave me a little punch. All right, so I think I think I was going to make this some kind of a pocket. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this. I 
this might be a bit tricky so let me get you know what i'm going to cap that up because i inevitably i'm going to lay some lace on there so i'm going to drink up the ink which will annoy me but then it's also going to throw in a piece of lace which will doubly annoy me okay all right i'm going to get this little clip and i'm going to put some of my glue And I'm going to clip it. So I'm going to go across this. This is a smaller piece. So I'm going to come across here. I might need a little more there. Oh, see, I don't need it there. That's where I, yikes. I'm going to clamp. 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 Um, all right, that'll hold for a few a few minutes, and that will help. I have a hard time seeing to get that little noodley thing in. All right, so that's going to be a pocket, and uh, let's see. I I would like to have a little, like, fold out doohickey. You know what I mean? So let me see. Let me get some of this jazzeroni out of the way here. Who remembers Jazzer size and the chick with the blonde hair that was always happy? Did she get on anybody else's last nerf? Sorry, you'll see my true colors shining through. It's just my true colors. <laughs> Gail hated that girl. Gail, I think we'd get along. And one, and two, and she just smiled all the time. And I'd be sweating my brains out thinking, how could anybody be this happy doing this stuff? I never liked to exercise. And if you could see me in person and the shape that I'm in, you would say, oh, you should have tried to like it, Laura. But there we go. There we have it. Just keeping it real. All right, I just folded that little bit and I'm hoping this works. But really, anything you don't like, in most cases, you know, you can find a fix for it or cover it up or change your mind. Do something different. Right? Denise Austin's workouts used to drive me crazy with her bugged out eyes and huge smile. Is she the one that did it? Is she the one that did the, um, is Denise Austin's the one that did the jazzercise? I don't even know the chick's name. And then there's this other babe. And she seemed really nice, too. She was the one that said Mao. You can walk on Mao. I forget what her program was called. She had brown hair. I think she had a different program. It's not a good look for most people, Peggy. Okay, just not. If we're being completely honest. You did, Joni? Good for you. She wasn't a jazzer, so but close to it. Oh, they were just all so happy. I guess it was the endorphins. I just wanted to knock them into next week. Sorry. Just saying. All right. So maybe if I do, let's, let's try. If this doesn't work, then I can always make this a pocket or a tag. Right. Does anybody know? My sister Jackie would know. Does anybody know the name of the chick that... Um, 
She had all different people standing behind her, all different sizes, all different ages, like old people. And she'd go like this and she'd say, now we're going to walk a mile. We're going to walk a mile. She said mile funny with her accent. Made an exit for the door. <laughs> Okay, so do I want to go this way? Um, I made this a little larger. Not sure that was the best idea. Okay, I'm going to mark this like I marked the other one that I couldn't see. And I don't want to lose the page that I want to attach it to. I need like another table that I could spin around. I've got my sewing machine right here, you see. And I've been having trouble with this um, last... Bob and I spun. It's too tight on the edges or something. It keeps breaking off. I would like to stitch this page. Let's see if I can get this to work. Let me put a couple little stitches on here. All right, so I'm just going to stitch down the outside edge. And I'm going to do a little, I hope, a little zigzagger. Let's see. Number two, that should be okay. Oh, it's going to be crazy stitch. I forgot to change the. This is my husband's mom's machine, I believe. Uh, see, it didn't work. That bottom thread cut out on me. I don't know. I'm going to have to break down and spin a new look. It all came out. <sighs> I'll get it to work. Because, see, now I've got holes in my pocket. Dear mother, dear mother. Yeah, that's probably right. And I'll tell you what, I just recently saw Jane and uh, Lily Tomlin, who are apparently our best buds, on uh, What's Her Face's show? The singer, Kelly Clarkson. Oh my gosh, Jane. I mean, Lily looks good, but Jane looks exquisite. She does. I don't know if she's had. Thanks, Judy. If if she's had any work done, let me tell you what. She didn't go to Kenny Rogers' guy. Okay? Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Let's see here. I just, I don't know. My mom, I said to my one friend, I just find it hard to believe that those two are um, friends, such good friends. And my one friend said to me, well, why would you say that? Well, you know, I don't know, Jane. I don't know Lily Tomlin. Okay. I'm never going to know them. It's just their persona and how they, how I perceive them over the years. And I would think that Jane's a little uppity. And I would think that Lily's down to earth and like a total hoot. Well, what do I know? You know, I say opposites attract, but they're really good friends. So they were a riot on the on the Kelly Clarkson show. Oh. 
Okay. I mean, I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just sharing my honest opinion. Okay, so I'm going to leave those little strings dingle dangled down. And see, that looks a little messy there, but I'm going to... I'm going to fix that up somewhere, somewhere down the road. Same with there. Because my machine, I don't know. Maybe it's the, um. oh, is she? Oh, that's sad. Um, my machine, machine, when the needle goes through, makes a little bump of bumps on the other side. All right, I'm going to put this on the back side. And I'm going to use my favorite tack because I like it. And I'm going to try to not put anything in upside down unintentionally anyway. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Hold and dry, hold and dry. Oh, that's fine, Joni. I, I didn't know anybody could do that. That's that's really kind of very kind of you. Thank you so much. Okay. So that's going to bend like that. And that'll be a turnout, tip out, or tip in, tip out, tip in, tip in, tip out, tip in. Tip out. Okay, stop. Stop, Lori, stop. Okay, so maybe something pinky, little pinky winky on the side there. So you know, I've got this bag of goodies. It's not pink. I think. Look at that. I'll never be able to cut that straight. Wow. That, oh, this stuff's. Oh, this must be a Tiffany bag. This smells good. This is what Keisha's always saying. Oh my gosh. This stuff smells so good. It's got to be. I don't have pinking shears. Wow. That's a nice piece of fabric. Oh, look at this piece. This looks like a piece of sari ribbon. Holy moly. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at that. I haven't, I haven't even looked in there. Now, look. If I put this, see, this is doing opposite of what I said. But if I put this here, really... The user could flip this up and do something under here. Could they not? So I have to, tr oh, see, she's got that, that's got a hole. That could just stick out the top. That would be fine and dandy. I could just sew right here so it would be more of a, um, a writing surface if one desired. So let's do the little trim on these back hairs and I'm going to take a little piece of something something okay let's take a piece of this this, this is just you know waste paper yes that's a good idea too Peggy all right so I'm thinking if I put a little bit of glue there that's kind of stabilize those stitches so this is like um not like um this is um golden matte medium that i have in here that i use as a glow so i'm just going to rub that like that and then i put a little bit of my um gesso that i had left over in this little jar I have to check out Joni. I think I subbed to Joni the other day, but I have to check. All right, so let's see. Oh, there's some right up here. So let me just take a little bit of this. 
And I'm going to just give this a little schmear. So you can kind of see the writing, but not really. Okay. So that's going to go like that. That'll be adorbs. All right. So now let's see what I have. Lovely gessoed fingers. What do I have to make a belly band? Maybe I want something with a little more of a contrast. You can make a sashi and put apple pie spice in it. Oh, a sachet and put apple pie spice in it. Put it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, Judy's going to be right back. Okay, let's see. I kind of like this section here. I was thinking I wanted something a little darker underneath. All right, so. I'm going to cut right out the middle. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what that looks like. All right, guys, I, I apologize, but I think I'm going to have to excuse myself and run to the loo. My water has, yeah, that, might, that might be okay. So I don't know. I'm going to be right back. Uh, if you can't stay, I understand. I hate to do this, but I really need to go take a little comfort break. Peggy's driving to Boston to visit her son as she's packing her craft supplies. Ooh. Oh, good, Peggy. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Sorry, girls. Wish I knew think I'd be
Okay. You show your true colors. My timing's all off from being up so late and going to that thing this morning. I do apologize, but I am back. Thanks for hanging in there. All right. So I was just thinking maybe I ought to try to finish a spread. Oh, thank you, Judy. Is Marty here? Hi, Marty. Good morning. Okay, so let's do a little belly banding at Peggy's suggestion, which is a great suggestion. All right, I'm putting the sewing scissors off to the side. I'm really, I mean, they're not super duper sharp, but they're sharper than anything else I have. Okay. And see, I just don't know why my brain works the way it does. So now I'm thinking ink. A dink, a dink, a dink, a dink. She's a crazy girl. She's a crazy girl. But I'm a fun grandma. So, Peggy, you're good to see some grandchildren, right? You have grandchildren in Boston. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So, I'm going to glue that down. Funnel cake. Is Barbara making funnel cake? Oh, funnel cake with extra sugar. Gosh. I love I love sugar. All right, so I'm gonna pop that right down the center and hold it in place for a few moments. Try to get my needle back in there. Three grandkids in Boston. Wonderful. Okay. I was, um, what was I doing? Oh, I was, I was surfing. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. Gail's being so good. Um, I was taking a little time to just relax, and I like to look at um, Facebook Marketplace. And um, someone had this little, if you have younger grandchildren, you might be familiar with um, Melissa and Doug products. And someone had a loom. Now, my granddaughter loves art art stuff, fibery stuff, drawing, writing, all, you know, all of it. So I'm starting to think about Christmas. And um, somebody had this real cool little loom. And I thought, oh, I wonder if she would like that. So I sent a picture to my daughter. And um, she said, yeah, I think she would like it. Um, are you talking for Christmas? Christmas because see I would buy them anything and everything all the time so I said to her yeah I'm thinking Christmas and she said oh yeah that'd be that'd be fine <laughs> but you know I don't want to get the kid a a used thing so I'll probably I put it in my cart I should have inked this before I put it in my book all right so this is a little sticky coming through the fibers but that's okay all right so that looks cute and then I pop it open I've got my stitches over here so let's do something creative to kind of do something else here now what are those little let's see if I can get an idea from here what's this little thing this is a little it's not wood. Thank you, Gail. It's not wood. It's um like a different kind of a cardboard. It's not really, I wouldn't even really call it chipboard. It's not even as sturdy as chipboard. 
Oh, that might look cute there. Hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, look at that. Breathe, darling. This is just a chapter. It's not your whole story. It isn't about the words we use. It's about the emotions we evoke. Oh, thanks, Marty. So, just I'm trying to be clever. I'm not feeling like clever juice is kicking in yet. See, I don't care if it's puffy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That was from a mu movie with, uh, what's her name? Judy Garland. Somewhere I have a stack of clear um, of clear tea bags. That make really cute little pockets. But don't know where to put them. I don't know where they've gone. I'm thinking about inking around this stencil. Puff the magic dragon. You thought it was June Allison? I see Judy Garland. Barbara, could you check that for us? You're the authority. She's got a big draw. I don't care. I don't care. She's in a in like a nightclub. They could have both. They could have both sung it, really. Now we're talking cream puffs. You girls are killing me. All right. I think I want to use my oxide and my makeup brush. And I may not like this, but I, I think I'm going to like it. So let me see. I've got gathered twig. Let's see if let's see if that will do the trick. Gathered twig. Oh, I should ask Pam. Pam, you said you got your first oxide. Did you get one, two? And what, what did you get? What colors did you get? Yeah, could have been the same song. Gosh, I haven't watched an old-timey movie in a long, long, long time. This is where a third arm, third hand would come in handy. Okay, I could have moved her over a little more. So we've got her. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, she was in a lot of stuff. Lots of stuff. So now... Now, Susie, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. Where do you, where do girls get this stuff? It's not real heavy, like, um, like furniture fabric, or like upholstery. I think I might like to have a little snippet here. She was in Meet Me in St. Louis. That's one of my favorites. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. I was right. It was Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Meet me at the fair. Now. 
ding, ding, ding with the trolley. Ring, ring, ring with the bell. Zing, zing, zing with my hot strings. Da, 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 da. You have a sore throat ish? Mm, not good. Do, 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 all right, I'm not sure I want to commit to this, but I'm thinking, what if I had this hang down and then I could put a bulb pin uh, there and have a little dingly dangly and build a little cluster. I've got a little bit of um, pink cheesecloth. Judy, Judy, Judy. Little pink cheesecloth. Oh, Shirley Temple was good too. But I liked her as a kid, not so much as a. And that might be just because that's what I used to see her, you know, as a kid. All right, let's see, a little bit of pink gloss. Now, let's see if we can find a little pink bouton. That one might be okay. It might be a little too pinky. Uh, this may not be what I use, but let's just see. I like June Allison too. I like them all. Let's face it. Mm, I want more of a um, an old timey retro kind of button. Not that hard. That's a little too pinkish. I I know I have in my mind what I want now. Whether I can find it, this might be better. Whether I can find it. What's Barbara got that yummy nail? Sending you a thermos of hot tea. Oh, that's so sweet. For her sore throat. Oh, well, that was good entertainment anyway, huh? Keeping you doing what you were supposed to be doing. Taking it easy. <laughs> Barbara the enabler she says Peggy Fitzmorris I know you are destashing but just think of the wonderful craft stores in Boston <laughs> all right <clears throat> be honest I like the idea of the um, cluster but I don't know that this is the right page for it. Just saying. So, but what I could do is I've got a little bit of white. Bottle of white. A bottle of red. Okay. <clears throat> I think I need a little sip of water. Mash episodes. That would not have been my first choice. I think I've mentioned on one of my other streams that my son and husband and I were headed to the Jersey Shore for a week's vacation in a, um, it was an Airbnb. I think it was somebody that knew somebody where my husband and I worked and they, they rented out their property, their house for uh, some certain weeks in the summer. And I was so looking forward to it. And we got there and the guys, Green Acres, oh, I'm going to be singing that song now. Um, so as soon as we got there and got ourselves settled, 
hubby and son just discovered the video room. And uh, this family had the whole season of 24 with uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Well, and I wasn't arting like I am these days. All I did then was knit. So all I had with me was knitting. Those two goobers, that's what the, they did the entire week. They wanted to watch the whole series before we left. Hi, Kathy. And I don't read. Uh, I was not interested in it. I didn't watch any of it. It was a bust. So now my husband is doing the same kind of thing with this show called Blacklist. Oh my gosh. It's, they're just, it's just so gross to me. I'm just not interested in the least. So I said to him last night, this reminds me of... Uh, you're 24 nonsense. He said, I know, but there's nothing else good on TV. Well, okay then. But what did um somebody say? Oh, Green Acres. Green Acres is the place to be. All right. So anybody want to? <laughs> I would think if the one made you angry, I would think Black Blacklist would too. He comes into my art space, uh, what, two nights ago and said, all has been revealed. And I'm like, okay, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Doesn't make me angry, just makes, it just, it's just gross to me. Maybe this cluster should go on the front cover. How about that? I think I like it that. I know. There's nothing you like on TV. See, I don't need to have the TV on, even without the art. I just, or like the radio. I like the radio on, but I don't need it on. Um, I think my husband struggles with, look, see, I got something on the ribbons. I don't know what. All right, I think I'm going to put that there, girls. Let's glue that baby down. I'm going to put it on the back of my fabric. Has anybody got plans for Labor Day? Our daughter messaged us the other day. They're going to come for a swim and to hang out. So I get to see the littles, which will be cool. Now, I certainly can add to this. But this is a good beginning. Kiefer Sutherland's grandfather is Canadian. Back then, it was incredible. Medical systems, certainly not that. Oh, really? So he wasn't in, uh, wasn't a Hollywood type person like his dad and him? Hmm. Bit interesting, is it not? All right, so how about the back cover? See, I've got this little pocket going on in the front, and I want to hide this ribbon here in the back. Let's take these clippies off. That certainly should be dry. Dry bones, dry bones, dry bones. Oh no, we gotta flip out with a little gal there. Gotta think about that a little bit. And do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. I really am not so sure I'm liking this tag because I 
kind of goof that up. I stamped on the back side of it and it's crooked, see? So that's kind of kind of a little bit of a mess for me. What if I covered up some of it with a piece of cod? Not liking that. Now I, I've just, um, but I think I probably put glue on here too. So I don't think I don't think I want to mess. What's twenty four? Twenty four was a series, and I think there were maybe like six or seven seasons. Kiefer Sutherland was the lead role. And everything that happened in that movie, and I don't really know uh, in that show, and I really don't know what it was all about because I was so disgusted and didn't want to watch it. Um, partly because it was ruining my vacation and partly because I'm just not interested in that action type kind of thing. But everything that happened in the, those six seasons was took place in a 24-hour period, which uh, I just can't even wrap my brain around that. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, one 24-hour period. And the boys kept saying, yeah, but you don't understand. It's just 24 hours. I'm like, yeah, I get what you're saying. I just don't care. Okay. I just don't care about it, boys. All right, so I've got this little thing again back here. I know, I'm jumping around. Boy, that would be nice. Ooh, look at that. That would be nice, wouldn't it? With a piece of paper to make a pocket on the back. All right, so if I, I wonder if this will tear. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. See if I can do it. Do, 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 do. And right about there is where I'd want. Yeah, it's not one of my favorites either. But all right, Kathy said she just tied up a craft room. Oh, tidied up the craft room, putting bits and dabs where they all need to be. Now I need to dust living room, but she doesn't want to supposed to rest on Sunday. If you want somebody to talk you into doing your housework, I'm not your girl. Nope. Nope. Not me. I mean, that dust is going to be there Monday. It's going to be there Tuesday. <laughs> It's like my house. It's going to be there till your son in law comes and does it for you. Okay, I think James Spader is one of the creepiest looking humans on the planet. Okay, I'm just saying. I And it's probably because of that role. He has such an attitude in that role in Blacklist, you know, and the buzz cut and the whole, the whole thing. He just kind of skeebs me. Okay. Oh, see, now Gail finds them attractive. Not me. I think he's creepy. But 
that's what makes the world go round. He was a cutie in Stargate. I liked the guy that played Daniel in Stargate. I still like him. And he's in some of my favorite uh, Hallmark movies. He's done some Hallmarks. Daniel Jackson. Wasn't that Stargate? Daniel Jackson? I didn't watch it religiously. My husband and son watched that religiously. My daughter and I were more like the more more of the um, Pride and Prejudice types. Oh, get out. He was? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. So what do you think? Pink fabric on the back page with some kind of a pocket. I think that'll do nicely, won't it? All right, so I'm going to use my fabric tack. Um, and I hope I don't tear my pattern tissue paper. I'm going to try to smush this around with the nozzle. This is, um, I really do like the, um, Fabri-Tac type glue, but I sure do have a hard time squeezing the bottle. And I'm trying to go as quick as I can so that it doesn't dry out before I start to get my fabric down. I should have flipped it the other way. I have two pink edges. But that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit. Let's put a little bit of this up here. We'll use the rest of this. Saving those little bits. And I'm going to run a little bead across the top. Did Pam answer me? Is Pam still here? Pam, what color? Pam, I just so want to call you Pammy. I don't know why. Uh, let's go this way. I wanted to know what color oxides you got. Um, what color oxide did you get? Did you just get one? Did you get a couple? Did you get what colors did you get? I'm all about the colors. Just being nosy. Just being my normal nosy self. All right, now, do I want... I don't think I want a bright... I don't want that bright... Um, yes, Pam, to the front of the... Front of the stool, please. All right, that's just a little shy of being the right size. So that's a little bit of a stinker, a little stinker stinker. Although, <laughs> oh, let me look. <laughs> she doesn't know. Oh my gosh, how cute is she? How cute is that? Boom, boom. I don't know why that's in my head. No, I'm just not finding it. Oh, this has got some of that cool blue in it. That's a cool piece of paper. Wish I could jelly print like that. 
Wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be something? Maybe I could retire. I am retired. I'm just being, just being a nudge. I'm being a nudge. Maybe I need a fabric pocket. Ooh, how about a fabric pocket? Where's that little piece I ripped off? Ooh. Hi, Teresa. How are you today? Kathy's being a sloth. It's all right, Kathy. You're allowed to be a sloth. We give you permission. Sloth away, my girl. Sloth away. All right. I'm going to trim this. Where's little Pammy, did she say? Oh, my gosh. Shabby shutters. I don't thought that. I think I might. No. What do I have dried marigold in? I think I have dried. Oh, I think I have dried marigold in. Um, oh, well, I have to look up shabby shutters. I wonder what color that is. You don't even want to sew or craft? Oh, that's okay. Oh, and you got some sprays? Oh, yeah. I've got a sponge sugar, I believe, in ink, maybe. And I've got the dried marigold in the distressed crayons. I don't know what that shabby shutters. Is, is that a blue tone or... Um... Okay, I'm going to stitch this. Because, you know, it's framed very nicely, but I don't want it to fray completely apart, you know, as I use it as a pocket. So I'm going to spin around here to my machine. And I'm going to set my right setting for a straight stitch. And I'm hoping that my thread from my bottom bobbin does not bust. And I don't know, I'm thinking that this will give it, uh, give me a little more stability with, with this being a pocket. Mm. I'm going to go right to the edge and maybe I should zigzag the, that a little. And I'm really kind of okay with it being super shabby. Not perfect. I do like the way that works. This has gotten way out of control here. All right. I always leave my scissors. The scissors are always in the wrong spot. I hang that little pair of scissors on one of the uh, little spokes on the top of my machine that you can put, you know, like a uh, thread. Oh, shabby shutters is green. Oh my gosh, I love green. I might have to look at that. Put it on my wish list. Look, I didn't get it quite right there, but that's all right. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, girls. So I'm okay with it. Because I can cluster that up or put a little, somewhere I have cute little um, ribbon roses that I think will work. Okay. So now I'm going to go around my fabric. Gail's, Gail's uh, out of here. Bye, Gail. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Have a good Memorial Day. If anybody said what they were doing, I missed it. If anybody's got plans. My husband really does all the cooking, so I told him to, to work it out with the daughter. The daughter. The daughter, the daughter. 
Okay. I guess this um, glue would really stop fraying, right? Even still. Okay. Now I also want to think about things that are going to stick up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I watched a lady this morning who said she tossed out all of her ephemera and started over oh my gosh wouldn't i like to dumpster dive it's your birthday tomorrow and it's pam's birthday to uh, pam's sister's birthday today well kathy we have to sing happy birthday here we go girls you ready happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear kathy do whatever you want to do. Woo! Happy birthday. Yippee! All right. So that might be okay. Let's see. How am I doing on time? Okay, because Miss Tanya should be coming on. Um, I know, right? Can you imagine? At the very least, give it to Goodwill. Gripe. Gripe. Let's start filling that pocket in. I think I might go back and watch. See, I'm just such a great copier, and I like what I see. And um, Susie does a lot of layering. So let's see. Let me pull out. Now, this was a tip from... And she's still around, but I don't see her much anymore. This is a tip from, oh, they're way over there. Let's see if I can get them. Uh, she used to be the Jersey Crafter. She's changed her name a couple of times. But she's Laura Sullivan. And um, she did, and does, I'm sure, wonderful journal uh, pages. And uh, she does things with beads. She really likes beads. Oh, there's my, there's my lens box. All right, now I've got, I've got myself tangled up in my electrical wires here. And uh, I don't know that this was Laura's idea per se, but she shared it on her channel. So that's where I saw it. But she would go this time of year, school time of year, and get uh, from the dollar store these little zipper pencil cases. Right, but she pops in, like sometimes you'll see her at Mary's, or she might be in, um, uh, I've seen her a couple other places. I don't know if it's Colleen's, but she's around. Um. But she would get these pencil cases for a dollar, the dollar tree or wherever, and then uh, use the little rings, the binder rings, and use them for storage. So I've got some stuff in here that I think I can use. Look. Some pink labels. So I might be able to use those. And uh, here's some some words, some random words on sheets of paper. And I've had this forever. That might work in this book. And I know down here on my left on the floor. I've got like Timmy flowers and stuff, but let me just quickly see if I have anything in here that might work. Postcard. I'm 
So for me, and what I like, uh, a lot of it is just layering, you know, finding stuff you like and like just layering the heck out of it. It's, it's fun to see what you can come up with. Oh, Peggy, that's so sweet. So let's see what else I have in this goodie box that might work. So I'm still looking for like shabby dabby do stuff. Shabby dabby do. And of course, small things. I do love all things Paris. So I can pull out a lot of this stuff here. And I'm mostly looking for colors that I think will work in this little book for me. So I'm just digging through. Oh, here, let me show you. Let me see if there's a place where I can sit this without it tumbling. See, I've got my sewing machine here. Let's see. Let's see how I can do this. A gal that my son dated was cleaning up her space and she gave me a stack of these boxes and I don't think she's ever watched or will watch any of my videos but in case she does Rachel I just love these um you know the the um like they're snappy things they snap up on onto each other so I've got some Timmy flowers in here and I'm just going to pull out a few things that I think might work now the other other thing that I'm getting over trying to get over anyway it's like, it's okay to cut this stuff. Okay. It's really hard sometimes to cut stuff. At least for me. I don't have a problem tearing apart a book. Because I don't really read books and care that much about books. But see, this kind of stuff. I struggle. Look, there's a pink stamp. So let's pull that out and then make a, hopefully make a mental note of, oh, Peggy, you sent me, I have them over there. You sent me envelopes, little mini envelopes. I've got to pull those out. They would be fabulous to use one or two of those in this. Uh, yeah, Pam said she has a hard time cutting up books, but you probably like to read, right? So it's going to be more of an issue for you than it would be for somebody like me. See, I just can't can't be bothered reading. Oh, look at Joni. She wants to send the birthday girl a little something too. It's just so sweet. All right, let's see. I have all this yummy stuff that I, you know, I don't use. I just hoard. Hoarding. Maybe one of these. I've got a couple of these. Kind of look like that. That's got somebody's name on it, which is so cool. Marty, you don't like to cut up books? Oh, yeah. I feel like when I go in at like a secondhand bookstore, I should go in in a disguise because I don't want them to know who I am because I cut up books. Okay. Intrigue and espionage. The book cutter. I was looking for those little tiny books. They're about like this and they're called... Um, the Observer's Book of Airplanes, The Observer's Book of Wildflowers, The Observer's Book of Butterflies. I mean, I bought some while I was over in Europe and had them shipped home. Okay. You used to be able to get them like 4 or $5, but see, everybody gets on the bandwagon and then the prices go up. I have so many of them. I hate to use them because they're so adorable. So I hoard them. So I was in the second hand. 
look at this this one's fuzzy it's like it's like it's got a rug around it or something oh look it pops open that way hmm it's kind of these are kind of big for my present project and I didn't want to tell the guy. I asked the guy, you know, if they had any. And he said to me, oh, a lady was in last week. We had like seven or eight copies of them. And she took them all. I'm like, ugh. But I would never, I would never tell them what I wanted it for. Because they probably wouldn't sell it to me. Look at these are cute little tags. They're a nice size. I might be able to use those. Look, there's a piece of the paper I'm using. Are you kidding me, Laura? Okay, this is marked pink girly. See, this is something I bought at the auction at the uh, Keisha sale. I think I want a frog. Oh, they're cute. Not for this book, but they're cute. And ready? This is like card stockies, card stocky stuff. See what I have down in here. These aren't really the stuff I'm looking for. I'm looking for my little Tim Holtz stuff that has um, like the little labels, you know, and the little tiny words. This is real heavy duty stuff. I don't, I don't know where I got all this stuff, girls. But I can assure you, I would never put it all in the dumpster. I would give it away first. I think that stuff's too bright. That stuff's too big. Okay. Let's put a couple of those on the pile. Now let's see what's in the bottom, the bottom bin here. Oh, this is um, alcohol ink stuff. This is too wild, I think, for this book. Let's see what else I got in here. Winnie the Pooh stuff. I can use out of this lot of goodies. Okay. Maybe be in that other zipper. Because I know I have a lot of Halloween stuff. Like sometimes you go into, say, your Michaels or Hobby Lobby, you know, they're clearing stuff and they might be phasing out a certain season or. Gosh, you know, it's so nice, like, for, for Dee Dee, she lives close, so she can make it a regular uh, routine thing. And that's how you find, to me, that's how you find the good stuff in some of the stores, the box stores, because if you're able to check it regular. But see, it's such a distance for me, it's like a field trip. It's, it's not something I can do on a regular basis uh, every week. This is the one I'm looking for. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Uh-oh. What just happened? Did I lose you all? <gasps> oh, 
Oh my goodness, I don't know what just happened. I thought I lost you all, but there you are. You're still there. You can still hear me, right? I'm trying to look for some smaller stuff. You know, sometimes in this Timmy stuff, I mean, he gives you a lot of stuff, but some of it you think it's so little. When will I ever use it? Well, see, this kind of a project, you can use all that little stuff. I mean, look at that little tiny. It's not quite the right color. Okay, thanks, Peggy. Um, but maybe I could put a little... Um, See, I like her. I think she's in his, his uh, Halloween stuff, but I might throw something a little odd in there. Clock. All right, so I know where this stuff is now, so that's good. Little circles, little squares. And I was saying earlier, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but I I kind of, once I get started and then I'm working in a certain color or a certain book or certain project, you know, you just kind of start to hit your stride. Can you not see me, Marty? Can you guys not see me? Peggy said we're here. Loud and clear, says Kathy. Okay. So I'm good. Taking a little sip of water. All right. Let's see. Let me make a little. Marty, I'm here. Marty, Marty. Maybe I should write her a note. I'll say. Marty, I can see you. Oh, you're just being a bud. <laughs> Thank you for that little bit of cleverness. All right. Ink pad up and out the way. All right. Let's dump all this stuff. All right. This is a sticker. This would look nice on a plain page. <gasps> look, I could cover up my mess. How about it, huh? What do you think? I could cover up my mess. Oh, yeah. That's right. You got me on that one, Marty. You got me. All right, so this is too long. Just need to cut off a little bit. Grab the right scissors. Clink. And let's get my exacto. See if I can. Now, this is, like I said, I've had this a long time. I don't know if there's any. Oh, it feels pretty sticky. I don't want my meat hooks to tear it all apart. There we go. There we go. Trying to cover that hole. Uh, but yet I don't want it to hang off the edge. Okay. Good. Now, where did I put my? I've got some really nice smaller bone folders. So I just don't know where I put them. This needs a little. Um, I need a little cushion underneath. Oh, I didn't put those back. Shocker. All right, we'll see. Meat hooks. Yes, I just said meat hooks. Sorry. That's a bit of my phraseology. Meat hooks. 
I'm going to put a piece of, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to put a piece of tinkle tape on here. I love this stuff so much. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about adding it to my wardrobe. Strategically placed, of course. My husband has the TV so loud. And I've come to realize that you guys really can't hear that. But gosh, I feel like you you can hear it. Cutest meat hook you've ever seen. Diane Hubert saves old tape from books to use. You mean like the what what you when you take a book apart, what's on the spine? I got a bag of that stuff, man. That stuff's gold, if that's what you're talking about. I've got myself so organized, it's all put away. It's over there across the other side of the room. It's like so good. That's a little dark. Where's my little pink? Where's my little stinking pinks? Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're now we're rocking and rolling. Okay. <clears throat> so when I get a sheet of things like this, and they're so white because I mostly Thank you, Barbara, but she must go. Thank you, my dear. Have a great afternoon and a good week. I like things. Um, you know, more crunched up. So instead of like, and these are on sticky paper. So instead of doing it individually, when I take it off, I just usually take my anchor and grunge them up pre-grunged and then if I need to add something later I will um, but see now this I stamped on this one but I did it too dark it should have been like a second kind of a stamp thing but oh well live and learn so i think some of these might be a little too big and i have a little heart stamp here i wonder how that would look on let's just let's just give it a go okay that's not too bad And then I usually don't trust um, that sticky glow. If it was for myself, it'd be one thing, but I like to, I like to sell. I can't use all the things that I make, and I like to make, and I do, I do too much. So, and I enjoy selling it. I'm not going to apologize for that. I, I do like maybe. Um, you know, folks that don't like to do it or can't do it, don't want to do it, but they like it. I should add a piece of um, paper or newsprint underneath there, but that'll be all right. Now, I think I need a piece of lace or something down that side. Maybe I need a little dingly dangly hanging off this page. Now. Who was here? I know Marty was with me when I had the original debacle with my eyelid maker. 
I don't know if I want to try it again, but it'd be nice if I if I did an eyelet maker hole to put a pin through instead of just punching a whole hole. Of course, I could do a reinforcement. Um, you know, hole. <sighs> Dare I try? It's pretty confusing to me. Actually, I don't think. <laughs> don't get your fabric. <laughs> Just <laughs> change Kathy's straw bib. I just, I just am not good at some things. Oh, goodness me, I could practice. But I just had, um, what did I do with my, okay, let's unplug the sew machine. Let's unplug it. We're unplugged. I just had a little box of, oh, these would look cute in there. Yum, yum, yummers. All right, I have to do the eyelets because I don't see my reinforcement box. I've gone and oh there it is. I was just gonna say I've gone and stuck that someplace special. Someplace special. All right, let's do this. Look, this these might work. They're a little they're not as pink, but I might be able to get away with it. Okay, so I got these at either an estate sale or goodwill. I don't remember which. It does not matter. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the stickers. Oh my gosh, every time I move that box, I mean that bag with that stuff from Tiffany, it just, gosh, it smells so wonderful. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grunge these up. And then I have a little tiny, at least I did have, script stamp. And I don't want it to be real in your face, which may not be because I, I really need to um, re-ink my ink pad. If I can ever get to my fabric, says Marty, I'm de that too. But like Lori, I'm in a bit of a slow. Yes, first degree for me. And I, you know, what? it's just like when we first moved. Now we've been here almost 10 years. But when we first moved, I can remember where stuff was in the old house. But I didn't know where I put it in this house. And now it's the same thing with my craft room, like that Timmy tissue paper. I know where I had it, but I don't know where I put it. Why do I keep moving it? Really, Peggy? I like having a lot of stuff because if there's something that I see that someone else has done or I get an idea, if on the rare occasion I get my own idea, Um, I just, I like having the stuff that I can, I can do it, you know? Hot flashes, huh? Mm. They're not fun. Not fun. All right. So, this may not um, do what I, I want it to do, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a little reinforcement circle down at the bottom. I 
I'm going to put one on the other side. Try to match it up somewhat. And then I'm going to pierce a hole. I hope Angie's not watching. This could be dicey. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, sometimes I get hung up with uh, wanting things to be too perfect. And I'm going to smudge, smudge a smudge of that. And then I'm going to grab a bulb pen. And at some point, not now, because I don't know where I have them all, I'm going to put a couple little seed beads on here. And maybe I'll put a little puff of a little puff of um oh now I know why Barbara was saying puff the magic dragon. I must have said puff before. A little puff of if I ever meet Keisha in person, the first thing I'm going to do is give her a little whack. Because all I can think of is dirty claws. Cheesecloth. It eventually comes to me. But it usually takes a minute. I'm going to pin that right in and see how I like it. I probably will have to glue that down at some point, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. Right this second, I'm going to worry about just getting the pin closed. Yeah, that's going to have to be glued down. I might just do it like that. Now, let's see, what else do I have here that I can... <clears throat> I think I need a little sprig of something. Maybe perhaps a little word, a little word. How about noteworthy? That might look cute on there. So let's grunge this up. I didn't do the grunge thing it for a while. The guys drank their water and they left. Is it real warm there, Kathy? They're out working in the heat. Okay. Muggy and needs serene. Yeah, that's what we have. It's like thick out, you know. All right, so I might leave that alone for right now. So let's see. Okay, it's quarter till. I'm starting to get hungry for some lunch. So let's just see what we what I've done so far <clears throat> on this little guy. Now this some of this I had pre-done before we got together today, but I made this little cluster, and more of course needs to be added to this. Not that. <laughs> Um, so I'll probably add more here. So I did the inside cover, and of course this needs this needs something here too. I have to find I have um, the new little paper dolls. I put them somewhere. A paper doll might look good here. 
Where did Lori put the paper dolls? Ding, 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 ding. I just saw some metal stuff that I have. And what do my wondering eyes should appear? Oh my gosh, I do love buttons. Look how cute something like that would look, right? How do you glue this down though? Gattenberg, that sounds like that would be cool on Christmas. They were my paper dolls, Pam. And thank you. I kind of like that. Do you think, do you girls think, um, I guess hot glue would work, but see, then it could squish out. Do you think, um, like the Fabri-Tac would work or would I be better off? Like I have the E6000. Do I have to use that on something like this? See, I like it better on this page. You boy too. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. I think I like that there. Any any ideas on glue here, guys? Oh, and you had pneumonia. Oh my goodness. I wanted to really have Christmas in Germany, but I couldn't get my family to agree. So my son and I went pre-Christmas. Well, we, we actually, we didn't get to, um, we didn't get to Germany because uh, when we were there, COVID was rat ratcheting up there. So we, we didn't go into Germany. Um, I'm going to go back and rewatch Susie and get some more ideas. So I made a little pocket here. And then I made my tip out and I put this gal right here. Yeah, my husband's kind of a homebody, kind of plain. I covered up this tag on this side. I'll probably do something else here. Maybe tuck, do a tuck, tuck spot on this side. And then I'll put some fibers in the top. And then this little cluster on this page, I've got to glue that down. But I'm liking it. And then did the back with the cloth pocket and the cloth backing. I'll get some more stuff to put in there. So I think it'll turn out to be a cute book. So I'll just continue to work on it. You think Fabri-Tac? You like it on the inside cover? That's where I like it. Right here. See, if I had thought ahead, I could have put... Um, see, this is... If you lay out your pages better than I did, this is where it helps. I could have put a couple of those little winged things in there and held it on. And they would look cute in there. But I'm just going to go with the, with the glue. Well, I like staying home with family too, but it was a uh, once in a lifetime kind of thing. Um, I have what I call a bonus son who's in England and I would love to have, have spent Christmas or a couple of days before Christmas or after. Yes, Brad's. Thank you, Marty. Uh, with him and his family would have just been lovely. Um, but we went um, over, we were there. Well, we weren't with him for Thanksgiving. We were, we were with him prior to Thanksgiving. Uh, we had about four days with him in North Yorkshire, which was lovely. And that's where Bonnie Snowden 
the artist that I was with this morning is located. So, anywho, girls, I'm going to go get some lunch. I'm getting a little hungry. Thanks for being here. And I appreciate those who even, um, you know, haven't chimed in. That's fine. Glad to have you here. And uh, it was nice to see Susan Cheryl. I haven't seen her in a little while. And um, so I'll see you around. It's Sunday, of course. And uh, Tanya should be on at 2 Eastern. And um, Mary should be on later tonight. And I never remember what time. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Oh, I hope you have a great trip to Boston. That's something fun to look forward to. And uh, thanks for everybody being here. And I'll see you all soon somewhere, I'm sure. Have a great rest of your day. And for those that celebrate mem uh, Memorial Day, I wish Labor Day. Enjoy your long weekend. Take care. Thanks so very much. And don't forget. Oh, I should do this for a... For a um, so I have a nice thumbnail picture. Don't forget to take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. Kathy, have a great day tomorrow. I hope there's cake. Bye-bye.